one team C strategies vanish early in the Brazilian Grand Prix. Romain Grishin lost control as Esteban Ocon was attempting an ambitious move around the outside of turn 6 on the first lap. Photo by Lot Photographic Haas watched race strategies go out of the window after both Kevin Magnussen and Romain Grishin were involved in lap 1 incidents at the Brazilian Grand Prix Sunday. As race starts go, this one was pretty bad. In fact, you could possibly go as far as to say that only Ferrari's Turn 1 implosion in Singapore was more catastrophic than this. Magnussen retired after sliding into the McLaren of Stoffel van Dorn, who in turn collected Daniel Ricciardo's Red Bull. But then, just as the safety car was about to be deployed, Grishin lost control as Esteban Akan was attempting an ambitious move around the outside of Turn 6. The spin saw the two cars come together and, while Grishin was able to continue, he would later receive a 10-second penalty for causing the accident. The only thing I can say about the opening lap is that I got massively hit in Turn 1, said Grishin. I believe I had a puncture on the rear left. I got to Turn 6 and lost the car, and I think it was just the puncture. Getting a penalty on top of that, I'm not super happy with it. I want to see the footage. The positive from the race is that the last stint on the super soft, the car felt amazing. Even though we had massive floor damage, it felt really good. We now need to understand why it felt so good and move on to Abu Dhabi. While Grishin was able to draw some positives from the Grand Prix, Magnussen's turn one exit meant that he couldn't even do that. Instead, the Dane says that he will study his accident to make sure that he will not be involved in a similar accident in the future. I really need to study the replay, said Magnussen. From my side, we were three wide through the corner. There was contact with, Stoffel, Van Dorn who then had contact with, Daniel, Ricciardo. I broke my front suspension, so it wasn't the best. If I'd realized earlier that Ricciardo was on the outside of Van Dorn, then perhaps I'd have given more room, but by the time I saw Ricciardo it was too late. I'd already carried the speed. It's tough and very frustrating when it happens, but that's racing. By Sam Hall Formula 1, Racing